third garden tour of the season. Um, kind of take a look. Almost everything's in the garden. Still waiting on. I'm hardening off the tomatoes and we've had quite a few days of rain with them outside but not so many days of sun. So today should be the first day that they're out in the sun. Um, hoping to get them in the ground maybe Wednesday uh, by the time I get them actually hardened off. I don't want to rush them out here too fast and get them burnt because this supposed to be sunny and warm the next couple of days. And same with the basil. So otherwise everything's in the garden except for one little part of zinnias that I'm going to do later to have a little bit of a succession planting of those. Um, got the jars opened, the milk jugs opened up so we can finally see the winter sowing without having to look through the top of the jars. And otherwise, everything's just coming along really well. Um, I am battling, I think it's flea beetles on my radishes, the beets, and then I think I have some kind of caterpillar or something like that on the cabbage, which those are all the normal issues or culprits that I run into. So nothing new, but I'll bring you along. I put some diatomaceous earth on them in hopes of helping. When we have a bunch of rainy weather, there's kind of nothing I can do because n nothing's going to survive the rain um, in terms of any kind of thing that I would put on it like diatomaceous earth. So I'm kind of at a loss until it gets sunny out or warm out um, to be able to put anything on them. So did that this morning. Hopefully that helps. It's always a battle for those really to get going, but hopefully. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's growing. I'm hiding in the shadow of the tree because the sun is very bright. See? See? Very bright. Don't want to be totally washed out, but let's go take a look at the garden. Okay, so as we can see, the caladiums are growing oh so nicely everywhere just everywhere um, I did put a couple of cosmos there's three of them right there along the fence because I ran out of room where I did put the other cosmos I have some bells of Ireland tucked in here now I finished planting out these zinnias and these are all of all coming up really really well they're not sown quite as heavily as the stuff down here in the end all the little grass blade looking deals those are all glads from previous years I won't pull them I'll just let them grow and see what happens um, some of them are so small I don't think they'll flower so I'm not too worried about them this here so this this is some of that flea beetle damage if you get it to focus here See how it looks like they're tiny? Something's coming along and like nipping the leaves. But I've come to learn that flea, that's what flea beetles damage, at least as far as I can figure. That's what flea beetle damage ends up looking like. So it looks like I need to treat these while they're little too, just to help prevent having bald spots in my flower patch. Darn bugs. I like the good bugs. I need more good bugs apparently. These ones look pretty good. Um, it looks like some of my glads. So my glads aren't all bad like I thought they might be. Because I have quite a few coming back in this row. And then you can see just how good all the winter sowing turned out. So I have that one's a dud. And the one in the very beginning is a dud. And these ones just have a couple. Which honestly that's great. Because I don't have the mass chaos like this that I'm not sure how to how I'm going to divide out but looking good so ready to find a spot and put those in the ground uh, these other glads I put in later I don't see any action out of them oh wait wait I lied these are them coming up this row here just has last year's glads in it it's going to have more zinnias um, once I get a little a little farther along so I can have uh, a succession planting. 
still empty here because we're waiting on the tomatoes to harden off. You can see I need to come through and weed. These are all baby tomatoes from tomatoes that had fallen on the ground last year. So, but these are all, I think all striped Germans because that's what I had here last year. And then more volunteer tomatoes. I have all kinds of them here. These are probably all cherry tomatoes. Crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Then, get down here. These are all Cosmos. So I put them here so they'd have the support of the trellis as well. Um, I'm going to see how they do for a cut flower. I know people use them, but I've also heard they fall apart pretty easy. So some people just like to use the foliage, which may be what I do. So we'll see. Then here are the onions. So the onions are doing well. They're coming up. Um, they'll take off once we start to get some heat here again. One of the things that I noticed in my onion row, especially down this way, um, I'm going to have to come through and weed the onions to pull out all of these volunteer cherry tomatoes. There are just like hundreds if not thousands of them tucked in here. Here's a good example. See them all? See all this? All these? All volunteer tomatoes from cherry tomatoes that were here last year. But onions are looking good. Even the stuff that kind of burnt off looks like it's mostly coming back. Uh, kohlrabi looks good. Some are growing better than others. It looks like five of them are doing really well, and then one is kind of wimpy, wimpy, but we'll see. Peas are doing well. The stuff that came up in the first sowing is starting to grab onto the trellis. So it'll start climbing up. And all of the second bit that I had to come in to do came up and looks really good. So, can't complain. Oh, there's a rogue one. Here are the radishes and the beets. So if I kept it covered with straw, the radishes seem to have a chance. Or the beets, beets, sorry. Seem to have a chance, but even then, they're still kind of struggling. The radishes in the center here look good, but like these ones on the end, those are, those are pretty chewed up. Pretty chewed up. So, like I said, I put some diatomaceous earth on them to hopefully help. You know, I had found a caterpillar on them at one point, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, all flea beetle damage. So hopefully we can get them under control. Garlic's looking good. And then whole row of snapdragons. They're really starting to put on some growth. Even the stuff that looks kind of questionable starting to turn around so I think they'll be good get taken off here I probably should come through and pinch them so what I should do is come like right here and pinch the top off it'll cause more branching this plant's already starting to branch some you can see that right there. It's all branching going on, so should come through and pinch them. I know it'll give me more plants in the end, but I kind of want some early blooms, so maybe I'll pinch some and leave some. They all are looking pretty good. Same with this row. Oh, look at that. A potato must have gotten left in the ground. This is where the potatoes were last year. 
we'll see, I guess, if the potato grows. Here are this is some wheat. So there was apparently some some wheat seeds still left in this straw bale, and that's the wheat that's germinated. They're pretty easy to pluck though, so I have to go through and do that. Here's Gamfrina. Kind of sitting still. I think the heat will help help the Gamfrina take off. Then I have my sea holly. That's looking pretty good. And then Celosia. That's all starting to bounce back. The red stuff's looking good. Oh look, I have some tiny little red blooms. Tiny, tiny. Hopefully they keep growing. Then I have my yarrow. This spot's still empty because it's going to be basil. is the row of beans that I see. Oh well. Looky here. This bean has the roots. So the bean plant is coming. I'm going to tuck that back down in there. So the beans are coming. Slowly but surely. They just have yet to emerge. This will all be beans. Sage, which that looks like it's put on some growth. More yarrow, rogue garlic plant, and then the potatoes are really starting to shine. So both rows of potatoes are up. Plants are looking really good. I'll let them get a little taller yet before I hill them. They are looking good. Uh, zucchini is planted here in summer squash. No movement out of them. I don't think it's been warm enough yet. That looks like that one little dill plant there might be coming back. That dill plant's coming. And that one is doing great. Cucumbers, I have some germination out of those. That one's going right to town. I'll have to thin that one out, but getting there. Carrots are looking lovely. I do need to come through and thin them yet, but looking good. Even here where things were a little slower, I don't know if this is germination was poor. Looks like they're coming along. Need to do some weeding along the back. Huh, Axel? The weeds are getting terrible. Then, cucumbers on this side. I don't see any germination out of those yet. Those look quiet. Then I have spinach. Definitely ready to be picking off of that. Kale plants. Here's my cabbage. This one they really have gone after. This one looks okay. This one they've hit pretty heavy too, so just really need to get it going so it can like at least start forming ahead, and then and then it should be okay. Brussels sprouts are still growing along, looking pretty good. Can't complain about them. I did, I think, fully lose this cabbage plant. I don't think that one's coming back. I think they ate that one. That's everything in the garden. I'm pretty happy with how everything looks. Um, really minimal bugs that I'm arguing with this year. So that's that's not too bad. We'll see how everything goes. I'll keep an eye out. Last year I had the, I think it's the Colorado red potato bug or beetle. They're really ugly. But I'll have to keep an eye out for them. I'll probably have them again. Those are pretty easy to just hand pick though. And it wasn't the end of the world and they really didn't bother my potato plants too bad so we'll see how everything grows once I get the tomatoes in I can mulch those rows with straw I should be all set now I just need to do a little bit of weeding to 
catch up. I had to find some more shade so I wasn't being blinded by the light. Uh, everything's looking really, really good in the garden. Just a little bit of pest damage. Um, something that I think I can keep up with at this point. Hopefully I can get them under control and they leave my plants alone. Especially my flowers. The cabbage, I really don't end up eating too much of that. I share a lot of that with the chickens, but it is nice to have. I like to have radishes out of the garden. So we'll see if I can get that stuff under control, but that's not the end of the world. Something goes after my potatoes or my tomatoes or onions, then I really won't be happy. Those are my favorite. So we'll see. Otherwise, get everything under control for my flowers because those are going to be important to me this year. Um, but looking forward to the growing season. So we've had probably almost an inch of rain in the last week. Really, it happened in the last two days. I haven't had to water the garden in a week and a half, two weeks almost, which is kind of nice. But at the same time, we do need some heat. It's only 53 degrees this morning. We do need some heat to get everything growing. We only have such a short season anyways. We need all the, the heat days we can get. So, Thank you so much for joining me, coming along on the garden tour, and we'll see you next week.